Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. I'm so grateful you've chosen to join us today. Whether you're just starting your morning, taking a break in the midst of a busy day, or winding down in the evening, this is a moment for us to be together in God's presence. It's Tuesday, September 10th, and we're reflecting on the 16th Sunday after Pentecost. Let's take a moment to become more aware of God's presence. Take a deep breath and invite the Holy Spirit to fill the space around you and within you. Come Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Gracious God, Throughout the ages, you transform sickness into health and death into life. Open us to the power of your presence and make us a people ready to proclaim your promises to the whole world. Through Jesus Christ, our healer and Lord. Amen. Today's reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12. Let's listen with open hearts. Think of him who endured such opposition against himself by sinners, so that you may not grow weary in your souls and give up. You have not yet resisted to the point of bloodshed in your struggle against sin. And have you forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as children? My children, do not scorn the Lord's discipline or give up when he corrects you. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every child he accepts. Endure your suffering as discipline. God is treating you as sons and daughters. For what child is there that a father does not discipline? But if you do not experience discipline, something all children have shared in, then you are illegitimate and not children. Besides, we have experienced discipline from our earthly fathers and we respected them. Shall we not submit ourselves all the more to the father of spirits and receive life? For they disciplined us for a little while as it seemed good to them, but he does so for our benefit, that we may share his holiness. Now all discipline seems painful at the time, not joyful, but later it produces the fruit of peace and righteousness for those trained by it. Therefore, strengthen your listless hands and your weak knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but healed. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Now that we've been fed by God's word, let's turn our hearts to God in prayer. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health 
among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Through Christ, who ever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on high. God of grace, hear our prayer. May peace abound and righteousness flourish that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. God of grace, hear our prayer. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We appreciate the chance to pray with you today. If this podcast has blessed you, please share it with others who may need a moment of prayer and encouragement. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. To support our ministry, visit our website at goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what challenges you face today, God's love surrounds you. Stay well. Spread kindness. I'll see you tomorrow.